Hello, I'm your host, Amberlyn and Carroll. Thank you for joining us on this episode of MedWatch Today. State-of-the-art technology changes lives and can improve a patient's quality of life. Community is dedicated to bringing cutting-edge treatments to the valley so patients can get the care they need close to home. And we recently followed the journey of one of the first patients in the valley to undergo deep brain stimulation surgery to help control the movements in their hands. About six years ago, Jill Castroconde was working at a fabric store when she noticed her hands were involuntarily shaking and it continued to get worse. Most everything in my life has um, been hindered by my tremor. She went to her neurologist thinking she was experiencing Parkinson's disease, but a brain scan indicated that Jill was actually experiencing essential tremors. She was immediately referred to neurosurgeon Dr. Mark Krell with the Community Neurosciences Institute. So essential tremor is one of the tremor spectrum diseases uh, and it is often confused with Parkinson's disease. Now Parkinson's disease classically is a tremor that occurs at rest, it's progressive, it starts on one side and progresses to the other. Uh, with essential tremor, uh, the tremor is an action tremor. So they don't have tremor at rest, but they start to tremor when they move to do something. Clear down to buttoning my shirt. Um, sewing is really hard. To eat is, is a real challenge for me. Just a lot of Everyday things are hard to do. Uh, and the finer the task, because there is a mental stress associated with that, the, the worse the tremor is elicited, the more it's brought out. It is very embarrassing to, you know, do my daily activities, but also I was a notary and that was a joke. <laughs> One of the tests that we use for essential tremor is something called Archimedes spirals. With essential tremor, it has a very specific, very preserved rhythm where as they try to draw the spirals, they, they tremor at very, very, very specific intervals. I didn't know I was that bad really, you know, because I had been holding my hand and I didn't realize how bad I was. Essential tremor is uh, initially treated with medications uh, and they have varying success. Dr. Mark Krell brought deep brain stimulation or DBS to the valley, a surgery used to treat the symptoms of various neurological disorders. Deep brain stimulation is an electrical device that looks very much like a pacemaker uh, where the generator is implanted under the, the collarbone in the chest wall. We run wires uh, from the generator up the neck under the skin and uh, into a target in the brain that controls that tremor. Surgery is done in two parts. The first part is uh, the bigger surgery where we place the wires in the brain. Once the brain wires are in, they're tested during the surgery to make sure that there are minimal side effects, if any, and that the tremor is well controlled. Then the, the leads are locked down onto the skull and tunneled off behind the ear. The patient then goes home usually the first day after surgery and they come back a week later for the battery to be implanted. Uh, and when they uh, get the battery implanted, that surgery is the same day and the entire system gets turned on about a month after the brain wires are placed. For Jill, this meant she had access to treatment she needed close to home. When I found out that um, we were going to start doing them here in Fresno. I was very excited. Um, so close to home, um, easier. Um, I have him to answer any questions or to uh, see him. Jill was ready to be the first patient in the Valley to undergo DBS and get back to living her life. Well, I do want to sew a lot. I, uh, I was an avid sewer, so I'm just really excited about that. And even signing my name uh, is going to be a, a real fun thing to do. The entire goal of any of my surgeries is to give people function back. So the, the idea here is to give people the ability to live a normal life longer than they would without the devices. Fast forward to today. Everything that I couldn't do, I can do. I sew, I sew a lot, I'm an avid sewer, and I can thread needles, I can, you know, just do everything. I can polish my toenails. Jill's tremors have subsided after undergoing deep brain stimulation surgery. 
and she is able to control it all with a simple remote control design. Um, I can eat now. I just totally turned my my life around. It was a game changer. Uh, it means that, that we're ready to do these now uh, at uh, community and uh, that these patients that haven't had the option of surgical intervention for their movement disorders and for their epilepsy now have a treatment option here. Providing state-of-the-art neuroscience care close to home means patients can get the expert care without leaving their friends and family where they have their family support, they have all of their financial structure, they have all of their, their friends, they have people that can give them rides to and from when they need to. And DBS is not a cure for these diseases, but it treats the symptoms. That slope of, de of decline is actually lengthened, uh, and they have many more years of quality life, not just life, but quality life.